I was born in Ireland, in the country, and my father was the doctor. We are five in the family. I am the eldest, and I lived in the country until I think I was about six or there. And then we moved, my family moved to Dublin. And in Dublin, I went to school. They were called the Loretto nuns. IDDM is more correct, but Loretto is what they use in, in Ireland. I was there as a boarder, and all I remember was a high area looking out over the sea. So I spent my time looking at the sea. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't please the, I didn't please my teachers very much. For my behavior, I was taken away. No, I wasn't taken. I was told I could go, I suppose, to my parents. But anyway, the next thing was, I was sent to an, an all Irish speaking school, which was a very good idea because it, it, in Ireland, in my time, you, you couldn't go to the university unless you had a matriculation, which, in, which included Irish. So, uh, that was one of the happiest things of my life because I had a great time in the Irish school. It was not a religious school, it was a lay school in the middle of the city. And that school was founded when, uh, when Ireland was recognised. After the Irish school, I went to the Sacred Heart. And that's a French order. I thought I would enter in the Sacred Heart. But then, did you know my sister? When Irene finished school, she went to Spain for a year. I came to Spain because Irene wrote a letter saying that she had a vocation and that she wanted to enter, you see? So uh, I decided it, it was better for me to, to bring her back home and that sort of a decision she, she should be made in, in her own area. So uh, that's how we came together in Spain. That was the reason why I came to Spain. And then I, I, I decided to look for work in Spain. I was teaching English in Madrid at that stage. I was happy as a child. It didn't worry me. Well, it did worry me a little because the children didn't understand me. They were learning English and I was learning Spanish. And it, it was a very good, a very good way to learn the language. And then, and then when I was in Madrid, the religious life, it became clear. I think I always, I always had a vocation. I, th I think I played with the idea when I was very small. <laughs> but it, it wasn't called the vocation like that, if you know what I mean. I was very taken by the story of Jesus and and then it developed as the years went on. Although I, I was a very bold child, and in Spanish, traviesa, con ganas. Well, for me, and I say to myself, not only for me, but for everybody, the spirituality of Mary Ward, it suited me. Do you know what I mean by that? For example, when you buy a dress and you make your decision, perhaps there were three or four, and because it suited me, do you follow? It, it suited me.